What's up guys? This is a video that I'm going to be demonstrating how to import graphics and equipment definitions into Metasys. Uh, if you have had your system set up uh, basically by a third party, you know a lot of times a third party will do the graphics, do the equipment definitions and that sort of thing for MUI. Uh, this is how you will actually bring that into the system. I'm sure that some of you guys out there watching this are going to be JCI techs or working on a JCI Metasys system. Uh, it's a very simple process, uh, but before we get started guys, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel, like and share the video, as well as check out all of the affiliate links down below the video. That way it kind of helps support the channel and the work that we do here. But guys, this is just a basic run and gun video. It's literally me recording this with my cell phone, so the audio video quality is not the best. And if you have any questions, leave those down below in the comments that way I'll try to get through and answer as many of them as I can but for now guys here we go what's up guys uh, I'm going to show you something that we've been working on trying to figure out for a bit, a bit ourselves uh, if you ever run into where you are needing to import certain equipment definitions and graphics files into Metasys uh, for your movie graphics equipment definitions and things like that that's what we're going to be doing in this video real quick uh, this is going to be a useful tool for us just to have some kind of a reference to come back to. So that's what we're going to be doing now. The first thing that you're going to want is you are going to want to take your zip files and you're going to want to copy them into your SCT server. Okay, Whatever you are using as your SCT server, the file path that you need to put them in is the, your local disk. You will need to go to the program data. That folder may be a hidden folder on your machine, so you will need to unhide that folder so you can see it. Uh, the Johnson Controls folder. Okay, there again, we're just going to walk through this file path to where you can see it right here. It is Metasys 3 database files. In there, you will paste that zip file that you get. Okay, once you get that zip file pasted in there, what you will then do is you're going to go over to your equipment definitions or to your SCT, and then I'm going to simply go up to, I'm going to have this highlighted, which you're going to see why here in just a few minutes. You've got to do this in order. I'm going to go to item, I'm going to go to import item, and from here it's going to give me this pop-up with the list of all of those files that are in that folder. Now the first one that I want, I want to get the definitions, the equipment definition. You can see the extension here. Uh, this is what I want. I want to select that and I'm going to select import and it's going to take just a brief moment and then it's going to import that file. Now of course I don't see anything highlighted here but if I go up and do a refresh, do a refresh all tabs and then I drop that down again you can see I have my green download arrow which means something has changed equipment definitions and then you can see down at the bottom of our screen it has created a folder for that equipment definition and it also has created the equipment definitions okay now that is the first step but we are not done the next thing that I'm going to do is go back up here. I'm going to highlight the ADX because this is where everything is going to be going. I'm going to go to item again up here in my corner, item, import item. I'm then going to grab the uh, equipment object. Remember that that's something that is usually done after you create the definition. It's something that you will create after you create the definition and you select save it will create the equipment object for you. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to hit import. And again, it has created that object for me. Before I can see it, do a refresh, just so I can show you guys this, because this is just basically a run and gun type situation. Uh, and you can see the green arrow, and if I scroll down, boom, there is the equipment objects you can see here. It's going to be for that new building. I'm going to go back. I'm going to re-highlight the ADX again. I'm going to go item, import, item. And there's two other things that I want to do. Of course, I want the graphics. So they have already been done here. So we're going to select the SP, which should be our graphics. I'm going to highlight that, import, now, in, in there again, guys, I'm not going to go back and forth and show you all of these. I'm just going to go ahead and get this done. Go back to item, import, object. 
or import item once again and of course this is the overall graphics the MUI graphics once it has been done but you have got to do those in order you know, the graphics are the last thing that you will do you will first import the equipment definition then the equipment object and then the graphics okay very simple and it's going to give me this warning here because uh, you know this is something that does pop up because it does overwrite a lot of what you already have if this is a major change to one of your buildings uh, but if they had done your graphics right you should not have any problems with that I'm going to select yes and once we have done that uh, we are ready to do a download and what you'll need to do is a complete server download just going to do a refresh all tabs real quick highlight it there and then just follow your normal process for doing a server download. Guys, hope this is helpful to you. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Check out all the links down below. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.